So this is an implementation of the classic FizzBuzz program in the fourth programming language implemented by my student Rohan. And it's running on our Retcom 87 platform using a PS2 keyboard here and the TMS 9118 Texas Instruments graphic chip. So moment of truth, let's try it out. There we go, it works. There we go. Yeah. Ah, fizz buzz. Great rejoicing. Okay, to run the fourth that's in the flash memory, where do we run? X8000. Okay. And then click on JML. And then fourth booted successfully. Yep. Okay, and we started fourth. Mm -hmm. And loader ASM is a bootloader program that is stored at 200. And when you run this, it takes another chunk of memory that you load in that has the fourth and it copies it into 8000 hex. And that way you can actually reset the board and the program stays there. The fourth interpreter stays there because it's in the flash memory. And here's the make file that makes it. Loader.asm refers to all the other source files that it needs. It creates this fourth.hex file, but EZSXB has trouble loading large chunks of memory. So these lines here are split it into a fourth.1 and a fourth.2. And so you need to load fourth.1, which starts loading at 200 hex, 200 hex, I should say, I suppose. And then fourth two will load, you know, appropriately after that. So you need to load both of these in separately. Then you run it at 200. Okay, my students have left. Let me make sure I can run this myself. So we're in the monitor here. And I shouldn't have to load any code. This should be in the flash memory. So I should be able to say G008000. Ah, fourth booted successfully. Okay, so we're talking over the PS2 keyboard here. Let's see if I can do anything in fourth. How about four, three, plus... And then I think period looks at the stack. Ah, I can add four and three and get seven. Okay, I'm running fourth on this thing in a fourth interpreter compiler sort of thing that one of my students wrote in 65816 assembly language to work on this Western Design Center W65C265SXB development board. Okay, this is just a reference for ourselves on how to hook a PS2 keyboard up to the Retcom 87 platform. So the way we have the setup, ground is black. That goes to this upper right connector here. And then red is the power. And that's going to go to this upper left connector here. And then the white connector is the data and that's going to this sort of third down on the left here and then the brown is the clock and that's going to the one next here to the power pin on the left so we have this all in written documentation but it's good to have more documentation <laughs>